orcas. They are black and white, playful, and very friendly marine mammals. Such adorable creatures, you might think. But what might come as a shock is that these intelligent dolphins are ruthless predators. Time and time again, orcas have proven to be the true rulers of the oceans. When it comes to hunting skills, deep within the blue waters, orcas have no equal. Even the terrifying great white sharks tremble at their sight, and as for the world's most enormous sea creatures, well, they don't stand a chance. Whether small or gigantic, no sea creature is safe around the orca. You might want to stay put to discover why all sea creatures are afraid of orca. For most creatures, the very sight of great white sharks swimming in the ocean is enough to send shivers down the spine. One may also think that they are the kings of the ocean, but these orcas took the crown long before the great white sharks could. According to a marine ecologist, if the great white sharks get wind of the presence of the orcas, even if the orcas are just passing through, the sharks will go to an extent of vacating the hunting grounds within minutes and won't return until after a year has passed. Orcas can take on these fierce creatures by simply tearing them apart. The orcas will push the shark to the ocean surface. Once there, the orca will slightly turn, lift its broad tail, and come crashing down on the shark's head, instantly stunning it and flipping it. At this point, the shark is already paralyzed. Easy peasy. The orcas will often hunt the sharks for nothing else but their juicy liver, which is said to contain nutritious substances that they needed. The same way one would pop a vitamin tablet. If you were to come across a diseased shark washed up ashore or one that has descended to the ocean floor when its body ravaged with utmost precision, you can guess who the major culprit is. Orcas will go for small sea creatures such as turtles, fish and seals, but more often than not, they will go after their relatives, the dolphins and even whales. These vicious predators are always up for the challenge as they prefer to hunt animals that are 10 to 20 times larger than their size. They hunt these older and larger creatures for the simple reason that they have more fat content. Equipped with 4-inch long teeth that help them in satisfying their ferocious appetite and the need to consume 227 kilograms per day, orcas put a lot of thought into their hunting. They do take the trophy when it comes to being a patient predator. Orcas will linger around their prey for hours, patiently waiting for the opportune time to strike. Orcas have even gone to a greater degree by tailoring hunting techniques for each prey. That's how you know they mean business. Like most predators, orcas often prefer to hunt in teams. They will often use echolocation to spot their prey and even measure its size based on how long it takes to get an echo. They are also known as killer whales, a name they got from ancient whalers after severally spotting the orcas taking down the larger whales. Frankly speaking, any animal that is capable of taking down the largest sea creature is worth fearing. Being the largest sea mammals, Blue whales weighing even up to over 150 tons are a no match to these sharp tooth orcas. For such humongous whales, these orcas will take turns ramming their heads into the side of the whale, biting and also pulling its pectoral fins all while trying to drown the whale by blocking its breathing hole. This torture may last for hours, causing the side bones of the whale to crumble. The whale eventually gets exhausted and gives in. As for the sperm whales, the orcas will mainly target the young ones and the females as they are afraid that the powerful strikes of the tails from the male sperm whales will lead to their demise. They are so brutal that when a mother and a calf are swimming together, the orcas will slowly creep up behind them, chasing them around, and sooner or later they come in between them. The calf eventually gets tired and is separated from its mother. The orcas then proceed to mercilessly devour it completely, 
disregarding the cry of the little calf. During the attack, sperm whales will even produce sonar waves to scare away the orcas, but this too may sometimes fall on deaf ears. For the record, sperm whales produce 230 decibel sounds, which is far much louder than a jet engine at takeoff. And at 150 decibels, the human eardrum will burst, so you can't really say that sperm whales aren't loud enough. If anything, they are the loudest on the planet. Sometimes, the orcas will go through all this trouble to take down a massive whale just to feed on its delicious tongue alone. The rest, well, the ocean's cleanup crew can have it. As with whales, orcas use the same hunting tactic as dolphins. While dolphins are swift enough to dodge predators, orca weighing over 8,000 kilograms and reaching lengths of up to 10 meters may not always be able to keep up with the speed. Opening its mouth at such great speeds will only cause its lower jaws to strain. Instead, the orcas go deep into the water, gather pace, and then ram into the dolphin to stun it before going in for the big kill. A school of small fish is like a bowl of snacks for the orcas. Therefore, chasing down each fish is just a waste of time and effort. Instead, orcas work together to flash their bellies to lure and herd a good number of fish causing the fish to form a ball at the water surface. They then tighten this ball by blowing air bubbles. Some of the orcas will feed while the others continue to herd. This they do by stunning the fish in the ball using powerful tail strikes. Orcas happen to be every seal's worst nightmare. While seals are taking a break from the freezing water and decide to stretch themselves on ice floes, the orca sees this as the perfect time to hunt. Knowing too well that they are too heavy to jump on the ice floe, the orcas team up and line up. They then proceed to accelerate towards the ice floe and break just before they reach it, thus creating a massive wave that is powerful enough to wash away the seal from the ice floe. The seal becomes disoriented, and before it can even figure out what just happened, the orcas are ready to catch it in the water and ferociously feast on it. Sometimes, the orcas may not always be in a mood to feast, but they just might be in a mood to play. Instead of holding a tug of war among themselves, they decide to play with their prey. Yes, you heard that right. Any seal caught will either end up right into their tummy or be tossed around like a ball from one orca to the other. Being bored is reason enough for an orca to hunt, and when an orca sets its eyes on a seal, not even the shores can save it. The only time the seals get to have the last laugh is when the orca is too engrossed in hunting that it chases the seals to the shore, misses the tide while there, and gets stuck in the shallow waters. At this point, their only saving grace is any human who cares enough to come to their rescue or wait until the high tides are back, only if they can hold their breath for that long. It's probably why they played cool when it comes to humans. But make no mistake, even in captivity, orcas do not forget their wild habits. They will even use the small fish fed to them as bait for birds hanging around their surroundings. They will hunt them just for the sake of it. It is such intriguing moments that will fool anyone into forgetting what ruthless predators they are. The Marine Park Entertainment Centers they are kept in have turned into deathbeds for some people, including trainers well known to the orca. For them to get to go after the sea's largest creatures, orcas have to have hunting skills that are more refined than other sea predators. They also deliberately teach their young ones these hunting skills, so it's likely that their prey will not get relief anytime soon. Orcas are also apex predators, as no other sea creatures have the guts to prey on them. And now you know why. Any wise person will stay away from any orcas in captivity. Unless, of course, they want to find out whether the orca just wants to play or it wants to use them to kill boredom.